And hi everyone. Hi Samir. Hi Anna. Good to Hello. see you virtually. It's been a very very difficult world this time. Uh, but but at at the same time, while it's been a difficult world, uh, we've been working for last uh, six months on building up uh, Year Gap as well. And I still remember meeting Anna uh, in Nepal for the first time. I think it's about almost ten years ago. And uh, and uh, really passionate about how we can drive this. Uh, particular uh, passion of youth, youth and entrepreneurship together. And I've been involved since then as much uh, on our leadership as well. And <clears throat> also briefly discussed with Samir when we met in uh, Bangladesh as well, and uh, also in Turkey as well, and uh, requested your support and your leadership definitely. But the difficult times, but I think, I think thanks for uh, opening the doors and showing, guiding us uh, uh, for where we are today. So I'll just uh, briefly uh, say what we've done in, in last six months. And we are really redefining how uh, we are being more engaged and stepping stone on, on what uh, Anna has built on as well. So today uh, we are building a strong executive committee. Uh, we have uh, 14 of the 25 uh, member countries in the executive committee already. Uh, about 23 of the seats of executive committee has been fulfilled now. So we have members from Turkey all the way to New Zealand as well. And, and that is a very strong foundation that uh, we uh, we built in last uh, six months and we are building on top of that as well. So uh, one of the only member that is uh, lacking and I would seek your uh, support is you know from Central Asia. So we're trying to find a member from Central Asia to represent for uh, the executive committee. <clears throat> so there right now, uh, today from uh, Turkey is helping us coordinate that region as well as a vice chair. So next slide, Abby. So with this, I would like to introduce the executive uh, committee members as well. So uh, I'll call out the name and uh, uh, due to the short notice, uh, many of them could not attend, but have sent their uh, uh, regard as well. So when the name comes, I would consider a request that to introduce themselves, but, uh, or else I'll introduce uh, everyone on, online. Abby, can we start? Next slide. So Richard, uh, Richard Lin is from Taiwan and very closely working with Cassie as well. And at the same time, very, very active. Uh, and he's also chairing one of the uh, committee as well. So this has been a very, very fortunate to have him on the team and uh, very uh, passionate about what we are doing as well. Uh, next one. Romel, so I believe Romel is here. So uh, Romel, would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, good afternoon, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Romel Herodias, I'm from the Philippines. I was the chairman emeritus. I am the chairman emeritus of the Filipina Entrepreneurs Association. And I'm pleased to meet all of you, especially our founder, uh, uh, Yega founder, Ms. Anna Marie Periquet. We have met uh, several times, but uh, we have not been properly introduced to each other. Hello, Thanks, nice to see you. Yeah, uh, Abby, next. Amzad, uh, Amzad is from Bangladesh, and uh, what we've done is from each region, and we're following Kasi's footsteps out there, we're having vice chair. So Richard is from Southeast Asia, uh, sorry, South, is it Southeast Asia, uh, Ernest, uh, Richard? And, uh, and then uh, we have Romel also, uh, and then uh, Southeast Asia is Romel, and then uh, we have from South Asia, Amzad is representing as a vice chair. He, He's not here today. He uh, said he would try to make it, but he's from Bangladesh. Uh, he's very active with uh, FBCCI as well, and uh, also with uh, 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 JSIS as well, and uh, and young entrepreneurs in Bangladesh as well. So yeah, next one. So Sam is from uh, uh, New Zealand. He is. Uh, he is active with uh, with the uh, Wellington Chamber of Commerce, and he also is very excited about one of the thing of uh, awarding the young entrepreneurs. And 
Uh, one of the program that we are designing is around what we discussed with him as well. Maybe if every country and have a Asia as a whole Young Entrepreneur Award, what Anna had started and make it more uh, uh, broader in that case as well. So that's something that we're discussing. So another. So, uh, uh, so Hedev is a vice chair from Turkey. Uh, she just became, she's on maternity right now. She just became a mother. So she's on maternity, but uh, she's definitely very active and has been responding uh, uh, very actively into the participation as well. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, then we have uh, Hiromi uh, Akoi from uh, uh, Japan uh, Chamber of Commerce. So uh, you know, we've had all these members in our meeting as well, and he's an executive member representing Japan as well. We have Kulan here. So Kulan, I'll pass it over to you. Yes, hello. Um, nice to e meet you, uh, President Modi, and nice to see Anna as well. Um, so I'm from Mongolia, uh, founder of Mongolia's first organic skincare brand. Um, have been into the entrepreneurship journey since the last seven years. And when I founded my company, Mongolia was not even talking about entrepreneurship because um, Mongolia was heavily based on large projects. So uh, with Lamour, we definitely um, created a wave of um, entrepreneurship and that's why I really want to support others as well and I have been doing a lot to support um, entrepreneurship and just young business people in general so that's why I'm uh, very happy to represent Mongolia and to be part of this greater community. Thanks. So we have Michael from uh, Korea. He's he's also very passionate about, about youth and entrepreneurship. And he is not only active in Korea, uh, but also uh, globally in Latin America and European Union as well. So Michael, you're here. So would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, uh, my name is Michael Lee from South Korea. Uh, nice to meet you, uh, Modi and Anna, and also it's my great pleasure to be the family of the Year Gap. Also, I'm involved in a lot of the government project, especially I serve the B20, and then also I have a lot of network young entrepreneurs in Europe, Africa, and Latin America. So it's Asia is a last, my like a last spot to build the global young entrepreneurs and network. So I'm very happy to, to be here. So I really passionate to, to learn from you guys. And then also I will do my best to support our members in Asia. Thanks, Michael. Uh, Howard is from Taiwan and uh, he's affiliated with the Chinese National Association as Richard and uh, has been participating as well. So uh, he's not here today. Jay again is from Taiwan. Uh, I believe Taiwan has two uh, associations as member. So we have four members from Taiwan in the executive committee as well. So he's from Chinese International Economic Cooperation. John is also from Taiwan and from Chinese International Economic uh, Cooperation as well. And uh, she's been uh, pretty active in our discussions as well. Nimol is from Cambodia, uh, very active and uh, very focused as well. Uh, very great to have him as well. Chorbona Chin uh, is from Cambodia as well, uh, from the same association as uh, uh, Nimol. Charmin, is Charming here? So uh, Charmin is from Philippines, and I think she's the current president for Philippines uh, Young Entrepreneurs, right, Romel? So uh, Romel, would you like to introduce Charmin? I think you'd be better on that. Uh, Charmin is currently the chairman of the Philippine Young Entrepreneurs Association, of course, affiliated with the Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry. And uh, she's, uh, she's uh, the president, uh, managing partner of Senior Sign Corporation right now. And uh, she's been active, and uh, now uh, she's, they're working on the ASEAN Young Entrepreneurs Carnival with uh, the Brunei, uh, Brunei Young Entrepreneurs Association. 
Thanks, Romil. Uh, Pham is from Vietnam and she's also been very active. She is uh, from Vietnam Young Entrepreneurs Association and uh, into logistics business as well in Vietnam. Uh, we have John from Vietnam as well. He's also from Vietnam Young Entrepreneurs and uh, uh, he's into investment management. Uh, Arsraf is from Bangladesh. Uh, he also comes from, from the Bangladesh Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Rishab. Rishab is from India. Uh, he is also the current chair or the president for uh, uh, Fiki's Young Entrepreneurs as well. And uh, he comes from a very uh, created uh, uh, legal firm in India, I would say, and has been helping us on building our bylaws and also advocacy. So in fact, he couldn't make it today, uh, but I'm having a call with him tomorrow to chair one of the uh, <coughs> one of the committees as well. Very active. Udip, Udip is from Nepal. He's currently the president for Nepalese Young Entrepreneurs. Uh, and uh, he's also uh, he's from Panchakana Group as uh, uh, our Pradeep's uh, son. So I would just say that. Is Udip here? I don't, I don't see him. So uh, yeah, so uh, he's been very active with Young Entrepreneurs for the last 12 years or 14 years in Nepal itself. So uh, very prominent and taking a Young Entrepreneurs to next, next height and in, in, including diversifying his own business. Yeah. So Mohammed is from Pakistan, so he, uh, they come from, uh, he comes from Federation of Pakistan Chamber of Commerce and Industry, active as well. Uh, Mohammed Ali, uh, he also uh, comes from Pakistan Chamber of Commerce and Industry and very active uh, in terms of uh, participation. Yeah. Vani, I see you here. Hi, Vani. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, Mangesh. Hi, I'm, I'm Vani and I'm from Papua New Guinea. I sit on um, very strategic boards here in um, PNG on Palm Chamber of Commerce and PNG as directors. And I run my own um, business for the last eight years uh, in the internet space and digital space as well. And of course, um, have an entrepreneurial hub where I passionately work with entrepreneurs in Papua New Guinea. And I'm so happy to be part of these um, um, communities. So I look forward to working together to build the entrepreneurship world. So thank you and lovely to meet you, um, Miss Anna. Thanks, Bonnie. Thank you. So but that, that's our team of 23 and, and we are building more and with a lot of aspirations. And la since April 14, we've been we've been actively engaging and building up team as well. So we had our first meeting on April 14. Uh, we discussed about what had happened, uh, what Anna had done last 14 years as well. And uh, Secretariat has been very, very on the toes to keep us uh, aligned on that, on the vision of the aspirations, how it was born. And from May, what we did was we structured the year gap and we built up the bylaws and nominations of vice chair as well. So we wanted to structure it a bit more. And then based on that, in June uh, 16, we did the first visioning exercise of how we see young entrepreneurs today and where we want to take it forward as the year gap. So this is a group discussion and a lot of ideas have come in and everyone, it was a great participation, very about two hours long workshop that we did virtually. Ideally, we would have done a on-site two, two days workshop and done that, that would have been great, but uh, COVID has just, uh, Anyways, so that is COVID. And uh, in July, we had our second visioning workshop as well, uh, where the proposed vision, mission, statement, core values, tagline, everything was uh, agreed upon and uh, looked at for working on anything that is required there. And uh, based on that, on September 8th, uh, we had our fifth meeting and approved all the, the work uh, that we have done on vision, mission, the values, uh, the uh, programs that we want to run, so on and so forth, and also uh, invited uh, executive committee members to chair some of the committees as well. <clears throat> so uh, this, this is what we've done for the last uh, four or five uh, months, six months, I would say. Can we go? Uh, yeah. So with this, uh, we've come up with the outcome, right? So we, we have restructured year gap to today's era as well, and we believe uh, this is very inclusive and with uh, uh, 
more than 50% of the member countries present as well. That uh, makes it more and more inclusive with uh, the Secretariat as well. And we thought that we should share with you. So the vision has been realigned on to become, be an influential networking and resource sharing platform for Asia's young entrepreneurs through constant learning, mentoring, advocacy, and collaboration. That's our vision. vision. Uh, the mission that we want to achieve uh, for achieving that vision is to form a community of Asia's young entrepreneurs and business leaders through partnerships with each other and with governments, learning institutions, and other like-minded organizations to help create a pro-enterprise environment. Very focused, and we've uh, taken some uh, essence from the uh, previous mission and vision as well. Uh, there are six core values that uh, we are driving through. Uh, one is entrepreneurial spirit. The second one is collective leadership. The third one is social responsibility. Fourth is advocacy. Fifth is diversity and inclusivity. And the sixth is empowerment. So uh, these are the six core values that we will live by and align very much with Kasi as well on this. Uh, the tagline for YEGAP, we thought that we should be defined by a tagline when we come up with our logo and definition. So the tagline is uh, what we came up with, igniting the entrepreneurial spirit. So how do we develop uh, and build more entrepreneurs uh, in Asia as well? And the theme for 2021-2023 on, the, on this uh, executive committee is uh, very focused on COVID's recovery. So we are talking about towards an entrepreneurship driven recovery. So how can we have that uh, recovery for next two years be planned on where we are from where we are today? So this is the uh, uh, foundational outcome of the workshops and last six months activity as well. Abby. Uh, <clears throat> the structure has been structured in the uh, org, or, uh, org structure as following. So Kasi president uh, is uh, uh, will chair the advisory board and leads this uh, particular organization as a whole. And uh, under under that will be a YEGAP executive committee uh, chairperson, uh, which will be me at the moment. And then we have vice chairs from each region uh, representing uh, that on a rotational basis as well. And then based on that, we have executive committee member from each region as well. <clears throat> and under the executive committee uh, will be the working committee, which will be chaired by one of the executive committee members as well. So this is the structure that we're following, and uh, I believe it's similar to CASI as well. So uh, the committees and uh, committee chairs, uh, we uh, I would like to introduce them as well. So uh, one of the committee that we're uh, forming is learning and networking, which will be chaired by Kwan uh, from Mongolia. Uh, the second one is engagement, branding, and communication. Uh, we should be chaired by Jay and Charmin from uh, Jay from Taiwan and Charmin from uh, Philippines. So this will be website communication, uh, so on and so forth as well. Uh, and then the membership and partnership uh, <coughs> alliance will be chaired by Michael from South Korea. So this will aim to drive membership all over. Uh, Asia and also partnership, cross-regional partnership as well. Uh, so one of the vision that we are talking is uh, how can we touch 50,000 entrepreneurs, right? So those are the type of discussion that we are talking about. Next slide. Uh, another one is strategic planning, governance and bylaws. Uh, this will be chaired by Romil from Philippines. Uh, policy advocacy, but this is very important, especially around cross-border and so on and so forth. And temporarily, I'm I'm chairing it. Uh, Kulan is also uh, supporting and uh, on this, but uh, I'm in discussion with Rishabh, so I'm, I have a call with him tomorrow to finalize on his uh, chairmanship for this particular committee as well. So Rishabh is from India. Uh, programs and events uh, will be chaired by Richard uh, from Taiwan. So we believe that in a, uh, such a structured manner, uh, we will be able to execute what we have planned. Uh, and we've also developed something called uh, uh, OKR and uh, uh, key result area also, so that we define number of activities that we do. So Mr. President will also uh, advise that detail uh, in, in next uh, council meeting as well. <clears throat> so uh, next slide. So some of the planned activities 
are like the uh, uh, continuation of presentation of award to outstanding entrepreneurs and outstanding project, but we want to expand it to partnering with local level young entrepreneurs and have a sub regional and make it very inclusive in in the in the global awards as well and compete uh, make Asia to compete in the global awards as well. So that's how we want to plan it up. Uh, business forum and dialogues uh, is something that will be highly focused on for partnerships and breakout session and learning as well. Uh, strengthening relationship with the uh, other uh, regional international organization that is uh, and uh, uh, MOU signing visits exchange programs technological knowledge transfer as well very very important. Uh, we want to focus on giving back and CSR as well so there will be few projects around that. Uh, membership expansion will be a huge focus uh, as we are just uh, uh, kicking off right now. Uh, <clears throat> the other one is information exchange and engagement among the members and through digital platform like website, app, social media, and also putting our uh, member profile on board as well on digital platform will be a focus as well. Uh, policy advocacy effort will be very, very important, including positioning papers, special studies, dialogue with policy members, and uh, President, uh, Mr. President will re uh, request your support on that as well, because uh, for youths, we would request a very different kind of policy. Uh, the other one is business matching. We believe that cross-border business expansion and partnership is very important, and we would like to focus on that as well. Uh, online training and learning and uh, so on and so forth is very, very important, including the tours and monthly learning programs. Uh, the other one is we want to uh, look at how we can accelerate the startup and innovation culture in Asia, including uh, putting uh, bringing in the possibilities of uh, funding capabilities through investments or PEVC as well. So these are some of the programs that we are planning and uh, we'll update that uh, when we launch uh, in 2022, Jack. So, Abby, thank you so much uh, I, uh, for for taking time. And uh, I would like to stop here and not not talk too much. That's why I was rushing through. We'd like to hear more from you, uh, both of you. So, Anna, over to you first. Uh, how do you how do you find it? How do you your feelings and your vision also first? If you can start with on how you started and what happened with your gap and how do you see it in future as well? Thanks, Anna. Thank you, Mangesh, and um, good afternoon from Manila, Philippines, and good morning or good evening to some of um, our colleagues uh, from Yagap and different parts of the world. Uh, first of all, allow me to thank uh, thank the Cassie and the Yagap for inviting me to join your meeting this afternoon. I know this has been um, long in the making to make this uh, possible uh, given all our, our schedules and the time differences and I'm I'm really so happy that um, I'm here and joining you all. I first of all no I, I just want to say that I'm so happy I'm very I'm overjoyed because um, YEGAP is in very good hands. We can see that based on the presentation, Mangesh. I'm I'm really grateful to you for for taking on the leadership as the YEGAP chairman. And I'm I never doubted that the first time we met in Kathmandu with Ajay Ajay, your uh, remember uh, Mangesh, your colleague from. Ajay, yeah. Ajay, Ajay, yes. Um, you you were very active then, uh, your your group, and uh, that's why I am so happy to see this that Yegap is uh, in good hands under under you, Mangesh, and under all of you, the executive uh, committee members. Thank you for your dynamic leadership and for for giving yourselves your time, especially now, no, during this very challenging um, circumstances and times that we live in now in the world. Some of us would have just um, paused or not accept any more tasks 
outside of our respective businesses or undertakings given um, the many things that we have to do to bounce back to recover after uh, since the onset of the, the pandemic last year. But I, I'm, I'm so happy to see this that uh, you have all not only taken up the responsibility, but you, you are very dedicated. And I heard from Mads, we've been talking with, I, I think you know him as Amador. I call him Mads. Uh, Mads has been telling me when we were talking over the phone of how, how very active you all are. And it's very happy to note that. When I thought of the Yegap, uh, 2004, Mads, remember, we were in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, and uh, I noticed that I was the youngest in the CASI <laughs> conference, and and that's a long time ago, 2004, no? I, I was, I'd like to think I was a lot younger then, and I remember I was um, um, Mr. Modi, Samir, I think Mr. K.K. Modi is your father. That's right. Yes, I was talking to him and Ambassador Yuiko and um, Jamal and also from, from the Philippines also. Um, uh, um, about it. And uh, I was telling Mr. Modi, I said, every time I attend the CASI, I'm always the youngest. But, but you have to understand that I am a CASI baby. Okay, I will give my 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 age away. Who can let who can answer when was the Cassie conceived? When was the Cassie born? Not the Yega, the Cassie. Do you know what year the Cassie was organized? No one no one knows Mangesh, do you know when the Cassie was organized or was established? Oh, yes. Was it 25 years ago? 1965. 65, I thought 70. Yeah. 1965, wow. the CASI was established. And um, my late father, Aurelio Peiket, was the chairman of the Philippine Chamber of Commerce. And together with Dr. Jeffrey Ku, my, my godfather, the late uh, Dr. Ku. And um, some 16, I think, no, mad 16 other founding. Um, chamber presidents founded the CASI. So my father and the late uh, Uncle Jeffrey Ku, when they started the CASI, that was in 1965. And I was born 1965. Yes, I'm 55. So I'm turning 56 next month. So I am a CASI baby. And every time my father decides to take me abroad or to, to tour, travel, it was never travel because, okay, let's plan a trip, Anna. We're go I'm going to show you Taiwan, or I'm going to show you Malaysia. I'm going to show you Thailand. I'll show you Vietnam or Singapore. It was always my travels with my, my late father, which were in the guise of I'm treating you on a travel and tour was always time during the council meeting of the CASI. So I would sit in all the breakout sessions, all the conferences, all the council meetings of the CASI from the time I could already walk and talk. And I remember that's why I think every CASI president knew me as that little kid who later grew up to be Yega and sometimes uh, getting into discussions with them and they'd say, you can't discuss with us. Uh, like if if you want your way, like sometimes I'd push for something for the Yega and then say, you're that, you were that little girl drawing in the boardroom. You can't believe you're now not arguing, discussing with us or lobbying for something. So, my my love for the Kasi and the Yega is very deep rooted. I'm in tears actually, because I, I think this is also going to be my farewell um, speech 
uh, not speech, but my farewell talk about Yegap and the Kasi. I think that's why I'm in tears because I was born 1965, the, the year that Kasi was born, and I am a Kasi baby. I've, I've attended all the, I think almost all the council meetings because as a child, and I did not understand what was going on because I would behave and sit and obey. Uh, and then I get to tour with Mads, remember the secretary of Uncle Jeffrey, Jenny. Is Mads there, Ernest, and uh, who's here from the CASI? Mads, you remember that. So when I finished the council meeting, yay, I'm so happy because I get to tour the country. I get to do sightseeing. And then when my when, when my dad is done with Cassie, we, we stay two more days and we, we tour, we eat, we tour, we shop. So my, my travels every year, sometimes four times a year, were built all around the Cassie meetings, meeting of the presidents, the chairman, council meetings, etc. So in 2004, May 2004, Samir, I, I spoke with Dr. with um, Dr. K. K. Modi, and I I told him I said I will not agree that I'm always the youngest one here forever, <laughs> um, because I attended the breakout session of the SME uh, of um, George Abraham. I remember he was the chairman of the SME um, breakout session of the CACI. So I I had an idea after that session. I, I approached. Um, Mads that time and Dr. Webster Kiang, I remember, and Mr. Modi. And I said, I think we should set up an entrepreneurship group for the young entrepreneurs, either start up entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs who have already made a name for themselves through their companies and they can share and start up entrepreneurs, new entrepreneurs, prospective entrepreneurs, and entrepreneurs like myself who already had their businesses could learn. And I said, what better learning there could be if you learn it firsthand and in a global regional perspective. So you're not just learning about entrepreneurship models, business models or values, best business practices through your own country's entrepreneur, like in the Philippine Chamber of Commerce that time I founded the Young Entrepreneurs, the Young Executives Business Club, because I, that time, that was 1992. I, I felt it shouldn't just be entrepreneurs, but we should also give the executives, the young executives, who are managers in big companies, multinationals and small or SMEs, the chance to also learn from entrepreneurs because they could be future entrepreneurs. Those from corporate, they can, they can transition or pivot to entrepreneurship uh, or to putting up their own businesses. So that was the young. Uh, so then I said it would be great. I was um, telling Mr. Modi and the Kasi that I think it would be great to bring in the younger generation here into the CASI through a, through a, in fact, I wasn't looking at the breakout session because it originally it was supposed to be a breakout session. Like the tourism of, uh, you're familiar with the CASI uh, breakout sessions during council meetings and conferences. There's the tourism, the textile, the SME, there's some, um, infrastructure and logistics, there's manufacturing, breakout sessions. But for the young entrepreneurs group, I didn't think it would be a breakout session. I thought it would be better off as a separate group, but as part of the CASI. And uh, that was in KL in Kuala Lumpur. Right after the SME session, I walked over to Mr. Modi and, you know, they, they agreed, they approved that uh, it would be good to have an, a, an entrepreneurs group with an effort to attract the younger entrepreneurs and and add some dynamism and vibrancy also to the CASI 
So it was both increasing the membership and also changing the, the, the age profile. So it was our goal then in 2004 when we set up the CASI to be able to encourage all the chambers of commerce or the, the country members or the chamber members of the CASI to create their, their own young entrepreneurs group. But if there is an existing young entrepreneurs group with a different name, like Mangesh, your group has a different name, and uh, Taipei, I believe Vietnam, Iran, I don't know if Iran is represented here, they were very active. Iran had its very active young entrepreneurs group. I forget the name now, but Kadin. Uh, was that the Kadin um, Mads? Kadin? Um, and then, so, the the challenge now was you know to make this as seamless and borderless as possible because we all come from different countries and we will only meet once a year which is during the council the, the CASI conferences and uh, so the first ever council we had the first ever meeting we had for the yega by the way, it became YEG thanks to Japan. Um, I, I believe the Japan Chamber of Commerce is here now. Um, your executive member from Japan is here from the Japan Chamber of Commerce and Industry. I I, I, I heard you earlier. Yeah, he, uh, he's, he's part of the executive committee. Yes, okay. The reason why it's called Yegap is we decided because Ted Suzuki, your former, the former chairman of the Young Entrepreneurs Group Japan, I met him in India for the first breakout session or the first meeting of the Entrepreneurs Group session. We didn't have a name yet. We actually called it just Young Entrepreneurs Session, the Breakout Council. There was no YEGAP yet. And then the chairman of uh, the Japan Young Entrepreneurship Group, which had a membership base of 25,000 members from different prefectures, they sent a delegation of like 100 to our breakout session. Imagine Japan had 100, the YEG. So Ted and I spoke and they were very active and Ted became my co-chairman. So India, we decided that the name would be the Young Entrepreneurs Group. We decided to adopt the, the Japan's name, the YEG Japan. We decided to adopt that and call it Asia Pacific. So it was our goal to have a, a YEG in every country. So I think Brunei put up one, Iran put up one, and uh, other countries put up during that time so that was 2005 we had a name and the rest is history we were invited to the different uh, to the Aichi uh, world trade um, conventions the YEG was always represented in various entrepreneurship um, forum fora conferences but you know, more than the, the vision, as I don't want to go through this because you've read the vision and the mission and the objectives and our, our plan of action. I don't want to go through this because you know that. And moving forward, I'd rather talk about your new vision, your mission, your objectives, which I feel I reviewed it, Mangesh, when Cassie sent it to me and Mads and I discussed it. And I, I just said this is this is um, this is beautiful because it's uh, we're aligned, we're on the same page, and it's even better. I have to admit because you are the young generation now. You are the you you belong to that generation that's going to to lead the world. I belong to that generation. Um, I'm 55, started this really young. I was very young when I started the YEBC in the Philippines. I was um, the youth sector representative of the Philippines in Congress with three presidents of the Philippines. 
and um, that's the reason why I'm jumping now. I'm jumping, but uh, I have to also let you know why I, I had to tell the Cassie that it's time that there's a new generation that should take over because, and that is one lesson that I would like to, to share with all of you is that it, you know, there, there will come a time when you will have to learn also not to hold on to the position. And I think that's the reason I gave also the Cassie when, when I said that I, I will have to tender my resignation. And this was so many years back because I felt that um, it, I've already spent a lot of time with the YEGAP, but at the same time, I would like to, to give chance to the younger ones, to you, to all of you, to lead. We wanted, I was telling the Cassie uh, and Mads that it would be a great, it would be great to have, to, to hear the ideas, the plans and the vision of the younger ones because you are the current young entrepreneurs. We're still entrepreneurs, my batch, our group, the founders. We will always be here as your advisors, mentors, but, but to lead the YEGAP, I think it was a great decision for us, for me in particular, to step down years ago to, make, to pave the way for the new breed this dynamic group to come in. And it's proving to be the best decision ever because you are continuing, maybe not what we started, but you're continuing the vision also of the CASI, not just the IGAP, but the CASI in general, which is to be able to develop future leaders of the CASI. So the YEGAP was not just all about increasing membership, adding young people to the CASI, changing, uh, adding, adding the young to the profile of CASI members, but it's also a breeding ground to create CASI leaders. And I see each one of you having that potential to be future members of the board of the CASI or even the president of the CASI in the future. So, so that in a nutshell was really my, the vision I had in mind in 2004. It was um, not just being a CASI baby and then the YEGAP, from CASI baby to the YEGAP mother. Uh, it has been a journey. And I will just have to let you know that the journey was not really that easy, given that we all live and we all work and we all run our businesses in different parts of the world. So it is a commitment you will all have to make. Because before our time, when it was before the pandemic, we travel a lot, we attend all the meetings and it, it takes really passion and commitment to be a part of the executive committee or the members or, or officers. But in a way, you are all fortunate because we never thought of this before, or there was just no Zoom before, no Zoom, no. We never thought of virtual meetings, but I'm so, I mean, you, you're very blessed because you could meet each other once a week or even more, even every day with all the virtual tools you have now. So you're, you're in a very good place. And um, with that, again, I'd like to say thank you very much for, for taking on the YEGAP and um, coming out with your vision, the mission, objectives, your plans, your activities. Our activities span from plant visits to scholarship programs to Yes, CSR, because uh, CSR is very close to my heart, corporate social responsibility. We would 
come up with our own programs in our respective chambers and even outside of the chamber. In the Philippines, for instance, I work closely with Go Negosyo. So we had a Yegap Go Negosyo tie up. And same with, I think, um, the other countries, country members. And we also had um, mentoring programs. We had the big brother, little brother concept wherein we are helping potential or prospective entrepreneurs through marketing skill and marketing, networking, information, data bank, knowledge, and support from the region. And I, I see now in your program, almost the same programs. And we had the newsletter, of course, then came the website, but um, and I hope you will actively run the website. And I, I'm sure you will eventually have your own social media platform as well. So with that, I just want to say thank you again. And it has been a great pleasure building the Young Entrepreneurs Group of Asia Pacific since its inception in 2004, May in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And it has been truly my honor to serve all the members and affiliates of the YAGAP throughout the decades, through our advocacies, our networking activities, projects, and entrepreneurial undertakings in the Asia Pacific region. So the other thing also is I'm thankful also we have built also, we have liaised with governments as well. And uh, so happy to note, it was my vision that time that entrepreneurship will be recognized, not just by the government, not just as a part of the Department of Trade. In our country, it's the Department of Trade and Industry. I think in other countries, you call it Ministry of Trade or Ministry of Industry. But it was also a vision of ours that time that the government will also establish the ministries of entrepreneurship or department of entrepreneurship. And I'm so happy to note that there were a lot of our um, policy papers were, were listened to or were taken. And in fact, in the Philippines, we have the presidential advisor for entrepreneurship that was created also. And Joey Concepcion, the, the the head of GoNegosha is our presidential advisor for entrepreneurship. And I believe there are some countries that have already their ministries of entrepreneurship. We also pushed for the inclusion of entrepreneurship clubs in schools, which um, I hope you will look into it also. Um, having entrepreneurship clubs as extracurricular activities of various universities. And also incubation, entrepreneurship incubations uh, incubation centers in schools or even in NGOs or social organizations. So I am pinning my hope on each one of you, Mangesh and um, your team, the executive committee, on your strength as very well put, well placed entrepreneurs who's whose diverse enterprises continue to serve as the anchor of your advocacies for the YEGA. And um, rest assured that uh, I will always be here, perhaps not as active uh, as before, but I will always be here if you need someone to to talk to about the Yega. But um, I'm, 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 I'm feeling melancholic right now. And uh, after years, uh, I, I've decided to attend a Yega meeting because it was also, it was very painful for me also. But I, I knew it was the best decision ever to, to let go. Because like in life, there comes a time when you have to learn to let go. And I hope that all of you will, will learn from, from experience of our experience that 
there is a time to let go also. Don't hold on to the position too long. You have to give chance to others to also lead and to soar high. So with that, thank you very much. And um, I'm so happy to see all of you. And uh, looking forward to a vibrant, new, young entrepreneurs group of Asia Pacific. And thank you to the CASI for always having supported the YAGA and for never giving up on the vision of the YAGA. Good afternoon from Manila, Philippines. Well, thanks. Thanks, Anna. That is really, really powerful. Uh, and uh, I know how close to your heart is YAGA and the entire CASI as well as such when we spoke a long time ago. And I'm honored that, uh, you know, uh, uh, that uh, you've looked at me a possibility of uh, leading this uh, a few years ago and we've had multiple discussions around it. <clears throat> so uh, thank you so much. Uh, and I, I mean, uh, I'm speechless and uh, this is not the last page, by the way, and you you are not uh, allowed to leave your gap yet. Also, uh, definitely there's an honorary position and we will have uh, a detailed uh, discussion with the entire team and hopefully in person as well. Thank you so much, Anna. With this, uh, given the time constraint, uh, you know, it's very interesting how uh, Dr. KK Modi was uh, one of the initial discussion around uh, developing Year Gap as well. And today we have our president, uh, Mr. Samir Modi, here as well. So I'll pass it on to Samir, uh, our president of HASI, uh, for his uh, kind of brief remarks. Thank you, Mangesh. Uh, Anna, it was wonderful to hear your vision and why you started YAGAP. Uh, I, my, my late father, Mr. KK Modi, uh, always endeavor has been young entrepreneurs. And uh, throughout his living years, I had found him bending forward to make sure young entrepreneurs thrive and succeed. It is my endeavor as the president of Kasi to work more closely with YAGAP. Over the years, I haven't worked close enough to see how they can add true values to CASI membership, including the prime members and the senior members of CASI. Um, I'm very enthused uh, with the AGAP and Bangesh, I'm sure that under your leadership and the new committee in place, we'll be able to work more closely. Uh, and now with the pandemic, that uh, we can work more closely with the secretariat and the president to make sure that I mean, Yegak, in my view, is the future of Kasi. And we would like to, or my wish truly is that we work much more with you guys. Mangesh, uh, I'm counting a lot on you and, and the executive committee. Your new charter is very, very impressive, uh, except that we would like a bigger role uh, of interaction. Uh, I think that we don't interact enough. And uh, wherever Kasi, myself, and the Secretary can add value to YEGAP, we would like to do so. And I would uh, uh, probably connect with you, Mangesh, um, on a one to one to further hear from you uh, what we can do together. And uh, in the conferences, I think YEGAP should get a bigger uh, participation uh, than you guys do right now. Um, and that is very, very important for Kasi. Kasi needs to become younger. And for it to become younger, it's only possible by YEGAP also playing a bigger role. So with that, I know we are running out of time. Um, I don't want to take away more time from everybody else. I just want to say we are very happy with YEGAP and we are very enthused, Mangesh, to interact with you and the executive committee as we go forward into the new year. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President, and thank you for uh, uh, your words on uh, having the youth's uh, larger role in CASI as well. And, and we will ensure that uh, we uh, uh, live up to those expectations as well. And definitely uh, uh, look forward on connecting with you one to one on sharing more of the vision of how we are trying to execute this as well. Thank you so much.
looking forward to it. Thank you. So uh, with this, uh, Anna, I will also connect with you one to one. There's a lot of things that I want to discuss with you. A lot of things that I need to uh, learn from you and then and then bring it back as well. So uh, I'll just open the floor to all our executive members, uh, committee members here for any questions uh, to uh, Anna or uh, uh, Samir, our uh, president of CASI. Uh, please go forward or any comment that you want to put very shortly. OK, I know what you guys are thinking. I wish this was in person and someday we will definitely have this in person. And uh, one of the key discussion we are having to even take this forward was shall we wait till we can have a uh, uh, Kasi president Samir and Anna in person and do the launch in person? So that was one of the reasons for delay, but but we just have to live with it. And in person, I think definitely we will look forward to it. Uh, so thank you. Thank you so much, Anna and uh, some of you for uh, making this uh, taking time out to come here and listening to uh, uh, listening to us and our vision as well. And we look forward on working very closely with Kasi, giving this birth to a new young entrepreneurs that we want to really, really drive. Every one of us in executive committee is a collective leadership, although I might be named chairman. Uh, we lead a uh, very, very parallel in a flat organization and and based on that each of us are very passionate about driving the youth and the future as well. So uh, with that uh, over to you Amador. Hey, thank you very much uh, uh, Mangesh. Uh, on behalf of Ernest Lin, unfortunately, has to leave for another meeting. I'd like to once again uh, reiterate my appreciation to Mr. Modi, to Anna, Mangesh, and the other members of the executive committee for taking time off their busy schedule and join today's meeting and to take the opportunity to get to know each other better. I hope that the discussions today, as well as the messages of Ms. Ms. Anna and Mr. Modi, will further uh, strengthen your resolve to make YEGAP a stronger group and an important contributor to the efforts of CASI to achieve its objective of regional cooperation. As you can see from the members of the executive committee, the representatives uh, re are all distinguished emissaries of their respective chambers, the respective industry sectors that they represent, as well as the respective countries truly representative of the geographical and professional diversity of the CASI membership. And you will also note from the activities and the committees that were set up by the executive committee that uh, all their uh, planned activities and plan of action are all within the uh, are part of the core of the activities of CASI for regional cooperation. And uh, I therefore thank you and we look forward to seeing you at the 94th CASI Council meeting, which will be on October 26th. Uh, that will be next week uh, from, uh, actually it will start at 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Thai P time. And during this council meeting, which uh, the, the uh, Mr. Mangesh will be able to have another opportunity to make an introduction uh, to the members of the CASI Council, which is the governing body of CASI, uh, to talk about what YEGAP has done over the next five or six months and what their plan is for the next uh, year or so. And hopefully uh, we will be able to get additional uh, inputs from the other members of the CASI Council on how uh, the YEGAP should proceed in the next two years. And also I'd like to encourage you to attend the 35th CASI conference, which is scheduled on November 2. This is organized by our two members from uh, Taiwan, SIECA and CNIC, and it, it will be talking about uh, sustainable and resilient growth through a robust world trade. And among the speakers that will be featured will be the Deputy Director General of World Trade Organization, uh, Ms. Uh, Annabelle Ellard, 
We will be talking about the economic and trade realities of today and how the WTO, World Trade Organization, can be made adaptable to all these realities. And they'll be talking also about uh, lessons from the COVID-19 pandemic and digital currency, how it uh, is affecting the, uh, how it is revolutionizing, revolutionizing the uh, world trade. And uh, lastly, I would also like to take this opportunity to invite you to the sixth ASEAN Young Entrepreneurs Carnival, which will be held on November 18 to 21st. This will be hosted by the ASEAN Young Entrepreneurs Group of Brunei Jerusalem. So uh, here you will be have the opportunity to meet uh, virtually representatives from the different uh, entrepreneurs groups that are uh, from the 10 ASEAN member countries, and they will be sharing their own uh, uh, experiences and their activities in the respective groups on how uh, they are promoting entrepreneurship in their respective countries. So we look forward to seeing you in all those three uh, activities. And therefore, we uh, hope uh, to see you then. And uh, until then, uh, goodbye and uh, stay safe. So back to you, Mangesh. Thanks. Thanks, Amador. And uh, <clears throat> thank you, everyone. Thank you, uh, everyone, for attending. And uh, this has been really, really powerful. Anna, we needed that push. And I think uh, we will have in person very soon, hopefully. Uh, that's what we're looking forward. And uh, 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 Mr. Modi, uh, our president, thank you so much for the support. Secretariat has been so much of supportive on putting this together. Without them, I think uh, we, I couldn't do it. You know, I mean, uh, we as a team also would uh, feel the same. So thank you so much for that support as well. And more will come in. We will be young and wild at times, and please don't mind that as well. <laughs> so uh, with that, I'd like to thank you so much uh, again, uh, interesting me with the Agap and our team as well. And uh, we look forward on having a brighter future. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day. Good night. Bye. Bye.